As part of our philosophy, we try to educate our students to be stewards of the Earth's resources. When we had the opportunity to build a science building, we thought, what better way to uh, sort of lead by example? The Michael J. Homer Science and Student Life Center is a building that includes a, a, a whole variety of different uses. Um, it has a 350 seat uh, dining hall. It has uh, student life uh, offices, the dean's offices. Um, as well as eight science classrooms uh, that are really uh, state-of-the-art uh, uh, classrooms. We really uh, made sure that we wove it into the ecology, natural ecology of the, of the space. There are some uh, stands of beautiful uh, native trees. You can see the redwoods here. Down here at the end of the, the building is, is a large rain garden that uh, manages about 91% of all the rainfall on the building. You can see the rain garden down here, and there's actually a gator. Their, their mascot is an alligator. The building is oriented on a classic east-west uh, orientation so that it presents a long south facade to the sun. You can see that uh, these skylights here, these solar tubes, uh, provide uh, virtually all the natural light into the space. What look, appear to be electric lamps are actually daylight requiring no electricity to, to light the space. So this is our living roof, which is above the, uh, the Great Hall uh, below. It is about a 3,000 square foot area that replicates a redwood forest understory ecology. So this is one of the uh, typical science classrooms. This happens to be a, a chemistry lab. Artificial lighting is accomplished with these efficient light fixtures. Materials used in the building are recycled. The cabinetry in the space is uh, FSC certified, harvested from sustainable forests. Linoleum on the floor is a rapidly renewable material. When you come into the main lobby of the building, there's a, there's a flat screen TV and you can watch in real time the energy consumption, whether it be for water, electricity, gas, and it is zoned so that you can look at just what is the kitchen doing or what are the classrooms doing. This is the auditorium space. Uh, it it uh, was designed to accommodate uh, 700 um, fixed seats, uh, which is really the entire school community, students and faculty as well. The idea behind this space then was to create this big volume that focused completely on this uh, oak grove uh, here to the, to the north. So the building brings together science, nature, and community in one hybrid facility that reveals the natural world on a daily basis to students and faculty. Go